like he's never physically cheated on me, but it was online. And so I think that's also like affected our intimacy as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm calling absolute BS on that purely because when she got to the States, all she complained about, not all of it, but you know, every other scene, every other episode ever she complained about was Rob's online cheating. And at that time when they were there, I mean, they were intimate. I mean, obviously, it probably was intimate, like, on a, on a, on a high level. But they were intimate. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, Sophie still wants to run with this narrative of that she is still upset with Rob, that she's now struggling to be in the bedroom with him, purely because of his online cheating. The online cheating that he was doing before she got married to him, and really and truly, if she felt at the time that being intimate with him was challenging, then why did you get married to him? Why not go through what you're doing now with a therapist? Then. Why wait? You know what? <laughs> it just never gets better for these two. What made me move out was basically, um, like, after we got married, I found out he was speaking to multiple girls online. Him... After we got married, sorry, is 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 are are you guys hearing this? Is inconsistency. So we went from online cheating before the marriage to now online cheating after the marriage. And it's funny because in the last, I don't know if it was the last season, this season, Rob said, yeah, it was last season. I remember the tell all when um, Ego was talking absolute freaking crud. When he was like, whoa, you know us boys, when we go online to watch our porno, you know, it's, it's like a video game. We go there to watch it and have some fun. I was like, bro, my man is talking absolutely nonsense right now. But either way, though, let's get into the point itself in particular. In that season itself in particular, Rob literally said that he was doing online cheating or whatever, looking at other girls and all that kind of stuff because, because of the distance between him and Sophie. But now they're in the States. He ain't going to do it no more. They're going to be in a good place now. Oh, right, yeah, boom, bam. She's not, he, Sophie's now in the States, they're now married. So why, how, how is all of a sudden Rob is still doing the same view he was doing before? But then he hit me. Let's just say this is true, this online chain is still a thing. Now this part has not been put into the storyline. So therefore what I'm about to say next, I don't believe it's even a thing. I generally feel like this storyline is just being forced for the sake of it. But let's say it's not. But what if Rob went back to his online cheating ways when Sophie decided to abandon their relationship for literally three months straight. Ran away to be with her bestie rather than staying at home with her hubby to try and actually make it work. You know, marriage is not something that you can just do and then just quit like that. Even though we live in a society now where a lot of people just get married and quit like that. It is absolutely crazy. Why people get married nowadays blows my mind. And I'm not talking about people in general. There are, of course, people in this world that have a solid foundation to their relationship. And getting married is definitely key. Getting married is definitely the next best thing for their relationship without a shadow of a doubt. But there's some people meet. Oh, we look good together. Paper, paper couple. Oh, mm, yeah, I, I, I guess our intimate life is good enough and the, the levels of it is good enough. You know what I mean? Maybe we're even together just because we look at me because we just enjoy ourselves physically. But now let's think about ourselves mentally. Yeah, we don't actually get along mentally, do we? We actually have a lot of differences. I mean, you're a bit of a narcissist. Yeah, and, and, and you're a bit of an A-O, right? Mm. But it's okay, though, because we look good. We'll be together anyway. And then boom, bam, divorce. I mean, listen, honestly, it is wild. But either way, though, the inconsistency of this story is ridiculous. Online cheating before the marriage, online cheating after the marriage. <laughs> and it's funny because the whole of last season, her mum was telling her, do not marry him if you are unsure. What did she do? She married him anyway. Do not marry him if he's doing this madness with other women, but you married him anyway. Invalidating my feelings. He makes me feel stupid for feeling upset over things. And this is why I hate being vulnerable with him because I should be able to have emotions. The only thing stupid is that you married him. That is the main thing. If you're feeling stupid, it shouldn't be because he's neglecting your feelings. It's because you married him. Goes back to what I was saying a second ago. Some people, get together because they feel like they look good together. Some people get together because their intimate life is amazing. And then a lot of people get together and completely neglect the mental connection. Right now, this is where your problem, your problem lies. 
Your problem lies with the fact that you're with somebody who you don't believe is emotionally available for you. And you're probably not emotionally available for him neither. Because there is definitely a lot of me, me, me in this relationship. He says one thing, all of a sudden it's all about you again. You say something, oh, all of a sudden he's trying to make it about him again. But then there are times when you say something and then he'll try and compromise a little bit here and there. You know what I'm saying? And the only time you compromise is when you're caught red-handed. You hit the fact that you had a male best friend. Oh, and you hit the fact that you two were even a thing when you was kids. But hey, only because you got caught red-handed, that's when you decided to actually take action and say, hey, guy, we can't be friends anymore, okay? I'm married, blah, 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 blah. And that's another problem. These two lack emotional availability for one another. These two uh, lack maturity, to be honest with you. And end of the day, when it comes to being mentally connected, they don't have it. They never will have it. And they should just stop it right here, right now. But obviously, rumor has that these two are no longer together in real life anyway. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out because after the season, I believe that these two are still back for another season. And that season will be the last freaking resort. <sighs> Why? I have no idea. Your relationship has so many cracks in it. It's like, why are you? They have so many cracks. I feel like I'm watching. A... It has so many cracks that I feel like I'm watching a, a Marvel film, whether it's Doctor Strange, the multiverse, or it's Spider Man. No way. Is it No Way Home? The one that does all the cracks in Doctor Strange? But you get the idea. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All those little dimensions at. Where, where, where are you in these dimensions? Where are you in the multiverse where you two are actually working? Because. As I go through the Spider Verse, or as I go through the Multiverse and Multiverse of Madness, yeah, let's let's go Multiverse of Madness. Just want to see other variants of YouTube, and you know what? No matter where I look, YouTube just never ever seem to work. No matter what universe you're from. So really and truly, let's face it. I hope your relationship really is over. To be honest with you, because it's not gonna work based on what we see on the show. And uh, why? I hope that we see an ep I hope in the last resort we see you to walk away the way Molly and Kelly did in, 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 in theirs, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless though, let's move on to the next couple. But these two right here <laughs> These two are an absolute freaking madness. The first thing that I want to identify when it comes to Manuel and Ashley's relationship is that um you know right here, right now. Yo escuché la las la parte de Manuel lo que me estaba comentando, pero ahora me gustaría escucharte a ti. I like Jonathan. In fact, I like when it comes to Manuel's friends. Because, because you see, when it comes to his friends, right? Or his friends, shall I say? Let me just... Um, yeah, here we go. Here's the thing that I like about him. He's fair. In fact, Manuel and his friend are fair. And when I say fair, what I mean is each and every time he has been invited to anything that involves Ashley's friends or anyone that Ashley knows, you know what always happens? An ambush. There is always an ambush every single freaking time against him. We saw it last episode where she, he go, they, they go to this place, they meet one of Ashley's friends, colleagues, whatever. What happens? He's left all by himself sitting on a street floor while she's there completely um, um, talking shit about her man to her friend and some random person that they met in the freaking bar, strip club or whatever the freaking place they went to. She sat there, stood there talking about her man to a friend and a random person. Make that make sense. And then in previous episodes, like last season, we saw him, we saw her take him out to, to a dinner with all of her friends. They all ambushed him and ganged out with him in the whole shebang. When it comes to Ashley and herself and her friends, it's always about how can we make him see my point? It's always, let's just ambush him. Let's be this, 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 and that. It is nothing but disgusting. But you see with Jonathan now, the first, Ashley comes in. First thing he says to Manuel is, bro, you're being cold. He doesn't want to say hi to her, you know? He holds his friend accountable. That's fantastic. You know, while she says, yeah, she'd be warmer to me. And then we move on to this bit here. But he comes in and says, listen, I've heard my guys, t I've heard him tell me. Tell me what the issue is. But now I want to hear from you, though. Tell me, what is the issue for you guys? Give me your point of view. Give me your version. The way, the way, he's, the way he's making sure this conversation is fair is magnificent, which tells you, who the actual real problem has always been and always will be, and that will be Ashley. We've seen it before because at the very beginning of last season, she said about how he's not always transparent, but she decided to marry him anyway. She made that choice, okay? We're moving on all the way on to here now where they're finally married, and now she's trying to figure all these things out that she should have figured out before, but the way she goes about it, she goes about it as if 
he is the villain and he's the one that's doing all these nasty things and he's the one that's not hearing her and that's the problem it's all about ashley 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 i mean listen you can say maybe there's a difference with culture maybe there's a difference with the fact you know that they're from two different parts of the world and they the way they're both raised very different and the way they see things is very different but again these are the things that you find out at the very beginning before you marry someone Ashley was warned about marrying him you know her mother said to her hey you should get to know him more before you marry him and she said well you know how am I supposed to know how to get to know somebody who's got kids you know blah 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 blah, blah. I just know that I want to be with him because I love the intimacy the, the intimate life going back to freaking Sophie and Rob these two are legit the same or at least Ashley is generally the same as long as he's giving me that uh, uh, I'm gonna be happy girl you ain't never freaking happy no matter what this man does Okay, and to be honest with you, does it really matter whose fault it is in their relationship at this point? If you ask me personally, I'm gonna say nada, nada. It doesn't matter. But hey, I like this bit here. This is not sorry. Let me, let me take that back. This is when Manuel decides to you know really speak up for himself. Starts talking about you know obviously what Ashley says. Ashley asks the Ashley pretty much you know. Well, Jonathan says, are you upset with the fact that he doesn't tell you when he goes places? Are you upset with the fact that when he wants to leave? Okay, he 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 just leaves and then doesn't take you nothing like that. So of course, my man comes in and says, "Listen, this is why I don't tell you things because when I tell you things, you say things like, where are you? Who are you with?'" And to be fair, that was just a freaking beginning. If I must, if I do so say myself, but then it continues on to the next one. Send me your location. Send me a photo. To be honest with you, I don't even know why Manuel was even with her at this point because the matter of the fact is, though, actually has got some serious trust issues. Trust issues to the point you're asking him to send him your location as well as also send you a photo. I'm surprised you're not even asking to freaking FaceTime him. Nobody should ever be in a relationship where you are asking someone to send you their location or photo. But on the basis, it is based on insecurities. And then she had the audacity to talk about how she has insecure problems because of her past. Don't be in a new relationship if you're going to project your past. Make it make sense. Hmm? Make it make sense. Come on now. He goes, if I send it to you, love, I went out with Joe, I went out with Jonathan. And in, in the end of the day, he's making it clear that no matter what he says, it's never gonna be good enough because Ashley's always gonna have her own point of view of what she thinks of, of what's going down because she has her own insecurities that has nothing to do with Manuel whatsoever. But even if they did have anything to do with him, these are things that she should have solved before getting married to the guy. But she didn't. She married him anyway. Oh my goodness gracious me. Wow, this is ridiculous. We are dealing with an episode of Trust issues that don't even make sense. Ash, um, uh, what's the name again? Uh, Sophie's trust issues. Trust, trust issues make no, they they make so much <laughs> they make no sense that they are now clashing each other within their own freaking storyline. I didn't trust him before the marriage. I still don't trust him after the marriage because of the online cheating. And now we've got the same thing here with Ashley. Oh, you know, I was warned to not marry him because I didn't really know him, but I married him anyway. But now I've married him. Now I'm trying to figure everything out. Just like I said before, in what universe does your relationship actually work? Because communication really is not one of your best suits when it comes to both of you two. And most importantly for Ashley, because <laughs> I promise you now, no matter what universe it is, <laughs> Jonathan is still going to be there to try and be the guy that's going to make, he's going to try and make things work to a certain degree. Listen, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a universe where Ashley tries to get on with Jonathan and Jonathan says, whoa, hey, 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 I'm smart. I cannot be with a woman, okay? <laughs> cannot be with anybody that has trust issues that they project onto me if I, if I know that I'm a good guy. <laughs> so really and truly, you know, my point is Ashley has to work on her trust issues from her past before she can, you know, continue in this relationship with uh, Manuel if there's any hope of it actually ever working because right now the hope of it actually working is next to none because her whole storyline has been based on her trying to get him to see her point of view to get him to become what she wants him to be which is fine if you are also willing to do the same thing back for him but here's the thing though he asked a very simple question will you ever trust me you should be trusting me the same way you're trying to you, you should trust me the same way you want me to trust you Vez que me voy a salir con Jonathan. Confianza sobre cuesta en ti que no vas a hacer nada malo, entonces también quieres la misma confianza. Así, nuestro matrimonio es muy pronto finis. That is the killer question itself in particular, isn't it now? Is the relationship near at the end? Is their marriage near the end of it being finito? Absolutely finished. That is a very good question. Because to be honest with you, I don't know why he would want to continue being in a relationship with somebody that uh, appears to be unhinged for the most part. When it comes to just the fact that she's always ambushing him, you know what I mean? 
Ashley needs help, in my opinion, to be honest with you. Help with accountability, not mental health, by the way. Help with accountability, because accountability is not her friend, and common sense clearly isn't her friend either, if you ask her person. Now, listen, I get it. In this episode so far, I spoke about Sophie, I spoke about Ashley, okay? And I haven't said too much about Robin, I haven't said too much about Manuel. But there's a reason for that, because we are dealing with two women who are consistently moaning about these two men, but both of them still decided to marry these men, despite the fact that the issues that they have with these men now are the same issues that they had beforehand. And both women were warned by both of their freaking family members, okay? So his mum said, don't do it. Ashley's mom said, don't do it. Ashley's friends said, don't do it. And they both didn't listen. The question is, where is that accountability? Why don't you, they, sh they should both sit there now and just say, do you know what? We was wrong. We should have listened. Hmm. It's disrespectful when someone asks you over the blessing in person and, and you didn't say anything. You know, Thais is a funny character. This is the woman that literally flew all the way from Brazil to Texas. But was it Texas? It was Texas, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it, was it Atlanta? San Antonio, I think it was. Either way, either way. He flew all the way from Brazil all the way to the state okay, to be with his man. And when she did that, she did that without doing what? Without telling her father of her real intentions. And now the way she's trying to put all this blame onto Patrick is crazy. Yeah, so what if your father asks Patrick to ask for his blessing? It doesn't mean Patrick has to do it. And to be honest, with the fact that Patrick said, no, I don't want to do it right now. Leave him to it. Let him do the way he wants to do it. Because the matter of the fact is, you're the one that has botched this whole situation. Let's play some more. Like, we don't talk. There's no relationship there. You apologize for him. I'm confused. What should Patrick actually be apologizing for? I mean, listen, he makes a very good point that, you know, we don't talk. You know, we don't even have a relationship. So, and, 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 and there's a reason for that. There's a reason why they don't talk and there's a reason why they don't have a relationship. And that's something that we're going to get to in a second. But... With that point there, something in particular about apologies. Why? The only person that should be apologizing is you. Guys, you should be apologizing to your father of the choices that you made. You chose to tell Patrick to not make contact with your father. You chose to block him from trying to build a relationship with your father. That's what you chose to do. So if, if, if there's any apology, it's, it comes from you. Even if your father doesn't believe you, and he's like, oh, no, I don't believe you because, you know, my daughter would never do this to me. She'd always be honest with me, blah, blah. Or then you've got to make him you got to make him believe that this was all you and that he was trying. If you really want your father and your husband to get along, you need to say, hey, dad, I'm sorry, but I stopped him from, 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 from trying to get to know you. He wanted to all the time, but I kept blocking him because I was afraid that you would never accept him. I was afraid that you would never allow, him, allow me to marry him. I was afraid you would never allow me to live in America. I was afraid. So I stopped him. Enough to do with him because he tried so many times. But I, mm, if she did that, then these, then that means that will be a great foundation beginning for the relationship between Patrick and her dad. But no, she wants him to apologize for something he didn't even do. What the hell is this? Madness. And we just came here for these to meet my dad, like the most important thing for me, you know? The most important thing for you. Most important thing for you. It's funny though, because... If this whole thing was important to you in the first place, then, well, listen to what Patrick says. Well, I mean, if I had it my way, we'd probably never be in this mess. Need I say more? Need I say anything else? I don't really say anything else to that. <laughs> but hey ho, sometimes we're dealing with people that uh, will make certain actions, but then when it comes to being accountable for those actions, they seem to disappear. You know? Just like the other two young ladies, accountability is something that isn't really happening right now. And just like the other two young ladies, sadly on this episode in particular here, um, we are dealing with women who have put their men in. No, no, that's that's a lie. I don't know. We are dealing with guys stuff in particular who's put him in a situation that he should never been in the first place. A situation that he tried to actually avoid. That he tried to do the right thing about, but you didn't let him do that. Okay. So the, it's, it's quite sad because right now this whole episode has been about trust, hasn't it? Really and truly. And it's quite sad because he, he, your father doesn't trust him, doesn't respect him, purely because of you. And you won't even own up to tell him. <laughs> be accountable. If you're really daddy's little girl, then daddy should be ready to hear his little girl tell him the truth. You can't be daddy's little girl if you can be running scared of telling him the, the actual true truth. You dig what I'm saying? Psst, miss me with the BS. It's just that we're trying to get pregnant, right? 
What, what if you get pregnant? Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. <laughs> she wants to do a pageant. Her friend said, hey, you should do a pageant. Jin was like, yes, baby, you should do the pageant. I know you should because it will boost your confidence up. You make you feel so good about yourself. Because I know right now you ain't feeling the best. You know, I know that your alopecia is getting to you. You know what I mean? And I know you have so many other insecurities. And you doing the pageant, you've been around other women that can make you feel empowered. It's going to be a beautiful thing for you. I love the support that Gino has right here, right now. But he also realizes that uh, if you do the pageant, then that means if you get pregnant, then you may not be able to do it. And this is where the problem lies in. Again, trust. <laughs> He's under the influence that they're going to be having a kid anytime soon. But in reality, what does Jasmine want to do? Jasmine has no intentions of having kids anytime soon. But you know the crazy thing about it, though? She sat there and said, oh, I don't have to tell Gino that I don't want a kid right now. Don't lie. You don't want a kid ever. You do not want any more kids. That is just the honest truth. And it's this sad that she can't just tell him the truth that, hey, I just don't want any kids point blank period. Now, rumor has it that these two are broken up. Now, the information that I got wasn't really something that I felt like was strong enough to really prove it per se. So I'm still kind of waiting to see if their relationship really is done and dusted now. And if it is, I can imagine maybe this was the final, you know, now in the coffin. The fact that she's going to be, the fact that she decided to not have kids with Gino moving forward. I mean, she hasn't said it right now in the season, but in my opinion, personally, I'm just not convinced. I haven't told you know that I don't want to have a baby with him right now. And it really destroys me. Like, I feel so bad. I don't believe that. I don't believe that she feels bad. I don't believe that it destroys her. I believe that she doesn't really give a damn. And she just wants what she wants best for herself. And what she wants best for herself is to be a part of this pageant. What she wants best for herself is to be in America. What she wants best for herself is allegedly to get her kids to the States. What she wants best for herself is literally what she wants best for herself. Get my point, you know what I'm saying? What Gino wants is never is never been relevant and never will be relevant. Gino needs to realize that, uh, but he probably won't because I guess it's Gino, isn't it now? Sadly. So, but with that being said though, um, it seems to me on this week's episode of 98 Fiance, they're definitely we're revolving the whole story around trust, you know, trust, 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 and how, of course, you know, um, people are struggling with just being nothing but honest um, to themselves. Keyword, I think with, with Jasmine, it's more about being honest with Gino, but the rest of the other cast members here, it was all about being honest to themselves and taking accountability. You see what I'm saying? Jasmine also, yeah, accountability is also obviously being honest to Gino. That's also about it too. So accountability was definitely the one. Honesty and accountability was the key but hey ho, let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below and we can certainly talk about it. Don't like, subscribe, and of course, peace. Oh.